Hey everyone, it's Alby. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be going over my May wrap up. Hard to believe that the month of May is already over and it's already June 1st when I'm filming this. So in the month of May, I didn't get a lot of reading done. I felt like I read a lot, but I technically didn't. I only got two, four books this month, but um, I enjoyed most of them. So three of them were, in a, were historical romances and one of them was a contemporary romance. So the first book I read in the month of May was Miss Butterworth and the Mad Baron by Julia Quinn and illustrated by her sister, her late sister, unfortunately, Violet Charles. And if you're familiar with the Bridgerton series specifically, it's in his kiss, um, which is, oh my goodness, what's her name? Hyacinth? Yes. Hyacinth's romance. This is the story that she reads Lady Dunbury in the novel. So in the story, like in the books that have this story as well as this story miss butterworth miss priscilla butterworth is sort of always in a hot mess she has horrible things happen to her and they just keep happening it's like one of those comedy of errors that it's almost so bizarre that it's funny but it's also equally sad well this is basically the beginning or origin story of miss butterworth and her mad baron so in this story, we have Priscilla Butterworth as well as the Baron. Does it say his name? I don't think it says his name on the back. Well, Miss Butterworth has had a horrible life. Yes, you can watch my review on it, of course. But, you know, things keep going from worse to worser. So, her family loses their money. The plague happens. Her grandmother gets sick. Her mother's thrown in a beggar's prison. She breaks both of her legs. She has a wicked step aunt and step cousins. Um, there's evil pigeons that are, you know, eating and killing people. But um, in a rainstorm, she happens upon this great manor and inside is a kind older maid and a kind of stern but friendly butler and they ask are you here for the companion position we have an um the, um, the elderly lady of the house is looking for a companion and priscilla's like um yes i'll help you know i can do the job and that's where she meets her mad baron so this story was a lot of fun it is a graphic novel so you know, very quick read. I read it in about an hour, hour and a half in the car. But it was just a lot of fun. I love the illustrations. Let's see if I can do some, you know, fun illustrations that just tell the story. Don't to give too many things away. But, <coughs> excuse me. I really enjoyed the story. It's a five-star read. I think anyone that is a fan of the Bridgerton books um, should definitely pick this up just for the fun of it. Um... It was a five star, like I said, the spice was non-existent. So like if you have um, like kids that you don't want them to read spice yet or whatever, they could pick this up for fun and it's really short, but a fun story. So I highly, highly recommend this, especially if you're a Bridgerton fan. All right, the next book I read in the month of May was Mind Till Midnight by Lisa Kleypas. This is book one in the Hathaway series. And this was a six star read for me. So I absolutely love the romance between Cam and Amelia. It was just super um, magnetic. Like they had this strong pull to one another. He, uh, Cam is the like, definition of tall, dark, and handsome. He is half a Roma gypsy. And, you know, he just has this fire burning for our tight, buttoned up, uh, low key spinster Amelia. Um, definitely a story of a good girl gone bad sort of thing, but I love the story. I love the like relationship between the siblings of the Hathaway siblings. So we have Amelia, who's the oldest, and she has an older brother who has a lot of issues that are going on currently. And then she has three younger sisters, I believe, and then has like a family, another like founded family brother as well. Um, Love the story, love the romance. It was six stars. This was the start of a series. So if you're looking for the book one, this is book one. And then book two, I believe, is Seduce Me at Sunrise. I'm not fully sure, but that sounds right. My copy was used and someone tore out the step back, unfortunately. So I had to Google what it looked like. 
but I really did enjoy the story and I have my long review on it on my channel. All right, the third book that I read in the month of May, was this, yeah, was Something Wilder by the writing duo Christina Lauren. This is a contemporary romance. This, again, was a six star read for me. I love this book. The spice level was basically a zero. There was maybe like a one fade to black scene. I can't really remember if there were any at all. Now I think of that. But I really just love the story. It was an action adventure story. It was a second chance romance between our hero and heroine. We had um, Lily. That's so funny. I had like three books with Lily. Lily and Leo. And I just loved their romance. I love a second chance romance. I think it's so fun to have characters with a history and see that history after they've had like a break in time and like they come together years later. I think that's always fun to see. But this was an action adventure story that's set in the like the wilderness, like the kind of like the Grand Canyons, but I don't think the Grand Canyons are there. And that was in Utah. I can't remember if it was, I think it was Utah. I've just started binging um, Yellowstone, so now everything, I think everything is Montana. But I'm pretty sure this takes place in Utah. Okay, that says New York, so I believe it's in Utah. And then the one was um, Laramie, Wyoming. But I love this story. Um, it does have some content warning that I felt was important, and I have that listed on my video so if you go to the video for something wild in my description box for all of my video all of my books that I review uh, in the description box I write out all my content warnings so um, I would definitely check that out there is some things that might be uncomfortable for some people nothing too too bad but I always like to put things for readers that don't need you know triggering or content and the final book that I read in the month of May was the book club pick for Historical Hellions. This is by Lorraine Heath. It is Texas Destiny. This is book one. In this story, we have Houston and Amelia. So that's so crazy. I had two books that I read. One of them technically will be in June. I just finished this today, so it's technically going to be June. But I had two books with Lily and two books with Amelia. So... Here's my Amelia's, <laughs> but um, I enjoyed this story. I gave it a three because it was really, really, really slow burn. The spice was non-existent. There was like a fade to black sex scene at the very end. I mean, like final pages. And um, to me, this sort of did have emotional cheating. I wasn't the only one in the book club that thought it, but it wasn't the <laughs> wasn't the majority idea that this was sort of emotional cheating. So Amelia is a mail order bride and the man that she's supposed to marry, Dallas, he fell off a horse I believe and broke his leg and he's not able to pick her up at the train station so he sends his slightly younger brother Houston to go and fetch her from the train station. So this has a um, you know, fiance's brother trope. It has forced proximity. It has the destination romance. Um, has sort of taboo romance. <laughs> so country romance has a taboo romance. Um, and I just, I didn't like. I said I didn't love the story. I feel like I'm kind of bumping it up. But it was a three for me, just because it was so slow burn, slow burn, and it just wasn't that spicy. And I wanted something to keep me invested. I mean, the characters were interesting. There was a lot of trauma that our hero faced. He's a scar hero. He literally has like kind of like a mask thing that he wears, like the Phantom of the Opera, because he has battle scars from the Civil War. I will say an important content um, or trigger warning for this is this does have some pretty strong um, like South um, sympathy in the Civil War. So, you know that's something to look out for. I didn't particularly care for that, even though I live in the South. Um, I just didn't agree with it, but you know, there was the characters, there was that time. And when this was published in like 1998, I think that sort of, um, kind of like Civil War antebellum thing was kind of, kind of selling. Cause I know in the nineties, I don't know who the author was, but sh this author wrote a sequel to Gone with the Wind called Scarlet. And it really blew up 
like as a bestseller and it became a mini series with um timothy dalton i can't remember who played scarlet um someone famous was it ann margaret played um bell watley someone pretty famous played bell watley can't remember but like you know i think uh gone with the wind had like a 50th anniversary in the 90s so i think like civil war romances were kind of selling at that time so maybe that's why they had some of this sympathy i know there's an author's note about you know she wasn't really happy with how things aged with this book but you know it, it happens you know with older historicals and like um that was brought up a lot in the book club discussion was that this is even that mine has the um the new cover from 2018 this was published in 97 or 98, um, does it say? 97. So, you know, it's, um, 30, 35, no, 25, <laughs> 25 years old. So, you know, it's getting up there in age. It's definitely vintage. So, you know, got to look out for some things that have been <laughs> evolved and a little more awakening since, you know, times have changed or whatever. So, yeah, these were my four books that I read in the month of May kind of read five because I just finished this today but I'll talk about this in my June wrap up but I'll record this video soon but yeah these were my four books um there was a five star and two six stars one three star <laughs> and, but overall they were all enjoyable um don't forget to like comment as well subscribe let me know what was your favorite book or how many books did you get to read in the month of May? Did you read more than you wanted to? Did you read less? This is definitely a low number for me. So, I mean, I almost got to five books, but four. Ooh, I need to read some more this month. Luckily, I've got one down <laughs> for June, but I definitely want to read a lot more this month. Even though I'm going on vacation with my family um, later this month, um, I want to read some more. So hopefully y'all had a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as comment. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at I'll Be Reading Romance. And I'll see y'all soon for another video. Bye, everyone.